Right, hello there everyone, and welcome back to this Tsinch campaign, and uh, our war for the Lord of Change. Um, so, last time we were defeated down here, but as it happens, our allies, the Chaos Dwarves, have turned up to lay siege to Urslo. And most likely, I'm not sure what they have in their army. Lots of slaves. Hobgoblins and orcs. So they're most likely going to take it. I, I forgot that this guy was actually a diplomat. So I'm going to... So I've actually made a trade agreement with the um, Chaos Dwarves. Although, it only lasts for one turn. So it's not really meant to be able to uh, do that much. But I did... Uh, trade maps with him, which reveal this fort. So this is the about the area which the Chaos Dwarves own, which is not a lot. Anyways, we've got this guy over here, nothing much is happening here, although they are sending people away in fleets. So I'm not sure where the High Elves are going. And these guys still staying put. And I went ahead and I moved actually a few turns just to get some stuff out of the way. So I'm actually already reached the Keep of Secrets. There's only one guy in there. It's a Demon Prince. And I would out-resolve it, but I want to see that Demon Prince. I want to see how he looks. So we're going to go ahead and play that. Also, I gathered an army of Marauders to uh, attack the North Hastlings camp. So we'll take that. Also I stripped all of these um, towns, actually all towns, of their garrison and I sent them either to join here or to bolster the defense here because after the defeat here that we had nothing here. But seeing as though the Chaos Dwarfs is going to take this place uh, they'll create a great buffer zone against the um, the High Elves. And I guess we're going to go on, uh, build some boats, and send some troops across that way to claim the north here of Norsk. And without further ado, I do think we're going to go ahead and take a look at that nasty demon prince. Holy sh... Wait! What? He raised an army, just as I'm about to attack. Bloody bastard. So it's actually going to be quite a fight. Let's go ahead and play it. AI cheats and brings up an entire army to support him. But it would have been kind of anticlimactic to take the keep of secrets without actually having to fight a proper fight for it. And that is exactly what we're going to do now. Also, the, the latest information from the Total War game is that they actually uh, went ahead and explained now how the... Uh, this is actually going to be a problem with such an army because there's going to be... I'm going to be very careful with the cannon to make sure that I'm able to break through the wall. At the uh, correct uh, places. Actually, the army is fine where it is. Well, the latest information from the... Uh oh, look at this. Hordes and hordes of warriors. Where do we have the demon prince though? Is this him? Cultist of Slanish? I think that thing there might be the... Uh, yes, I do believe that that's the demon prince of Slanish. And uh, he's uh, bodyguard. And uh, you might think that I'm saying he because it's Demon Prince, but 
I believe that they are actually male or hermaphrodites in the sense that uh, <laughs> there are no there are no guys what do they say there's no guys with um, no there's no women with dicks there's only men with tits or is it I don't know let's not ponder too much on that um, right we're gonna try to break a hole through the wall and then we're gonna charge in hopefully we'll be able to it looks like they're gonna march out to meet me would be an interesting and bold strategy. Um, oh yeah, so they <laughs> get uh, thrown off there, like I usually do. The latest information from the uh, for the Total War game was that they've uh, actually gone ahead and made a special post um, detailing what I think I've, to I've talked about it in a few other videos where I talk about how uh, with the in, in regards to you're not able to conquer the entire map and when I first ha heard it I was pretty skeptical but when uh, when I read more into it and what they say about it there still might be some problems but I think it actually might work because the problem then would be what you do with the settlement then while well you you race it which is the thing they've introduced with Attila so you will race the settlement and as far as I uh, uh, read they uh, they basically um, what they said was they they will split it into two types of uh, settlements in in a very large way not like towns and castles but in a sense that there will be holes and settlements and if you if you're a human you will have settlements and you can capture all other settlements but if you're a dwarf or a uh, green skin you'll have holes and only other people with holes can capture those places and uh, but but you're supposed to be able to declare war on anyone so e everyone can just go ahead and smash each other to bits which was one of the things that uh, I think some people uh, were worried about when they heard that you can conquer the entire map and that they, it, and they talked a bit about the uh, the lore thing that you thought that maybe you wouldn't be able to if you were the Empire, you weren't uh, able to declare war on, say, the Dwarfs. But you're you're supposed to be able to declare war on everyone. If necessary. I'm not... The thing is... They showed the a picture of supposedly some guy playing... Uh, having a playthrough of it. And supposedly it played 300 turns. But he's only, like, managed to capture... He played as the Vampire Counts. But he only had, like less than 10 settlements which I thought was a bit after 300 turns I think you now they did say that apparently he had held uh, some territory in Bretonia but that he was forced out by the Bretonians but still that would not make a lot of provinces after um, uh, 300 turns. 300 turns, that's a massive amount of turns. I don't know what I could compare that with. I don't know, the the longest one, um, I guess, was it my empire or my vampire counts? And I think that was, those campaigns weren't even close to uh, 300. I don't think at least. Uh, as I recall, they weren't. But to only have that much makes it a bit sketchy I think but I, but I like the fact that the um, there were there were a few things they they said that the chaos faction would play like a horde faction and they wouldn't be able to take settlements and they would run around but I will I would still imagine that if they took up uh, or if they took a city like Middenheim or Talabayam Altdorf or one of the m big major cities that it would at least sort of uh, 
hold some sort of defensive structure within and maybe build some sort of corrupt temple or something with inside or trying to corrupt uh, buildings within it it would make sense for uh, the orcs just to smash the shit and leave because they have no s sort of interest there but the chaos would want to I guess influence the human population in a sense uh, maybe not like uh, as the the example they take is that orcs if they took over an empire city they wouldn't set up you know the sort of structure the human structure of like setting up taxes and trade um, taxes and stuff for the settlement uh, uh, which is perfectly fine but I think for the chaos they would they would probably hold the town just because there's a lot of people in there and they would uh, somehow use it and uh, not just tear it down completely and not like hold it at all because what you could see on the map was that the entire the entire empire had apparently been destroyed and all the towns actually most of the towns shown on the map were destroyed uh, or raised to the ground and uh, that was one thing I also thought wait did the em a thousand slaves for our did they shoot a blunderbuss guy or did it yeah they shot a blunderbuss guy I thought maybe the crew had shot one of their own but apparently they killed one of the blunderbuss our guys but I thought it was kind of strange order. since the vampire guy had played for apparently uh, 300 turns but he hadn't hadn't since he was part of the settlement group he could have been able to uh, I guess rebuild the, the um, some of the empire provinces and I'm not sure exactly after 300 turns I'd imagine you'd at least rebuild some of them especially the biggest cities and take them over uh, for the vampire clans and, and I thought it was a bit strange as well that his kingdom had somehow survived even though the empire had been completely destroyed in that sort of fashion maybe it was that he has, hadn't been able to uh, uh, attack in the same way because one of the problems I'd imagine you face with not being able to completely destroy a faction in the same way by taking all the settlements is the fact that um, you have this sort of constant reappearing enemy uh, who, which is you know law friendly in the sense but um, if they, they hopefully they make it right so it's not one of those like annoying things because isn't it a, the worst thing in any sort of, uh, of these sort of um, strategy games when you have a you have to beat an enemy that is sort of you have to beat a map or whatever and the enemy keeps there's this constant respawn of enemies those are always now that's of course not how the Total War game plays but um, just imagine if they would uh, constantly be there on your doorstep but overall I, I think that uh, I'm not as critical of, of, of it as I as I first was when I heard about it I must say there was a there was quite a lot of text and I didn't read all of it but I, I read the gist of it there was a lot of it that was part of uh, Demix going over his uh, his campaign and what had happened and stuff like that which I wasn't too interested in reading we're actually killing quite a few of these. Normally, um, the pink horrors have uh, uh, the horrors of Senge have quite a quite a problem killing the uh, enemy. But it seems like uh, we found a really easy unit here to uh, cut down the Slanish chosen one, die dying like flies. There's two units here, and I've been cutting them down left right and center there's a completely different story about the other warriors 
Um, and then we got the Demon Prince there. Right, I want to cut down these guys first before we send in any troops. I think we'll send in... Do we have... Where's our halberdiers? We'll march in the halberdiers to take up the fight right here. We'll have to set something over there to stop those guys. And there is where I will send the most of the troops, all the uh, Chaos Warriors, because I hope to encircle these guys so I don't have to fight through the layers of defense. I will cut down everyone. So the main thing is just to send in the Halberdiers to hold the enemy right here, and then take the Chaos Warriors and other light troops and go around and come at them that way. We got some light marauder infantry here, which I think we could quite easily take on with the uh, marauder skirmish cavalry. I think we could uh, ride up, throw our spears, and cut them down quite easily. Although I think we'll send in the halberdiers first to make sure. Right, the uh, chosen ones. Slanish had had enough and they're retreating into the castle. things of this would be that, you know, the, the Chaos won't be able to build cities in the same way. I think that this might be true for this game, as they, as they plan to make it uh, in, into three games. Uh, it might be that they, they're holding the sort of main Chaos part, so the next part, as I said before, I think I've said before, that the next part will be the sort of the Chaos uh, expansion when they expand on sort of the evil faction and they may expand in the north and then it will actually be a a, a, a sort of the traditional type of uh, base building uh, chaos faction maybe Send everyone in. Ah, right. We have some of our uh, Marauder Cavalry as engaged. Ah, what's this? A Halberdier unit. Have engaged some of the Chosen here. I was hoping to um, be able to quickly move through. Let's see if we can open another... Uh, Another route of attack by blowing a hole in the wall there. Probably should have done that earlier. Yeah, 
and, and as we're trying to break this, these idiots are mo actually moving up to stand on them. I think the Albertiers are doing pretty well, it seems. And right now we are... All the enemy is concentrated right here. So if I'm able to... It doesn't seem as though I'm going to be able to break through here. But since we're going to open up this wall... We'll be able to break through that way instead. We'll encircle these guys, which right now I'm pushing into the flank of the Halberdiers, which are putting them under quite a bit of strain. But we'll be able to flank them. And once that's done, we'll be able to send a few units around in the back. I'm thinking the Blunderbuss unit and the uh, horrors will go into the flank. We'll send in the chosen to start slaughtering in the back here, and then the marauder infantry will follow as well to hold in the back here. Yeah, my halberdiers are really being cut into here. They're still holding though, and I think. They will be able to hold out long enough. We can actually take one of the warrior units here from the back. Let's see if we can get them to join in the fight over there to aid their comrades. Because as you can see, they're, they're squashing this line right here. We are at 50%. Damn. They have a unit moving over there to block our... block our way of attack. Demon Prince is still alive. Bit of problem here since they're actually falling back with a number of units. Chosen warriors charging. Let's see, where did they? Ah, they moved up over there. That means the cavalry has free reign to ride through there. Then uh, I think these guys were going to come down, so the horrors and the dwarves might uh, take an eat. Damn it! Not through the gate, you idiots. Hurry, block those guys to keep this way open. Chosen, charge! Move, marauders, move. Damn it! They do not wish to engage, they move on. Damn it, they go. It's like they know my plan to block them. One unit will go full head into them and this one will move to back into the enemy. Right. Not what I wanted. Let's see if we can break that one down. Ah, 
We've got one unit moving there. Stop them! You're not going anywhere. Albedeers are closing in. See if we can help out down here. Right now we've killed 74% of the enemy force and we've lost 25. kill off this unit. See if we can get the uh, yes thousand slaves for your toil. Right, they're actually retreating. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. I am a mighty warrior. Uh, we've actually cut down um, everyone. So we're winning in the slow grind, but it would have been better if I'd been able to execute my plan, I think. Alright, there's only 11 there, so these guys can run through. Oh, you're running the wrong way. One halberdier left there. We've broken them down over here. Send off the light cavalry. They're not going to aid anymore. It's better than instead if we take the chosen one and we charge in together with this one as well to really just come in amongst them and crush the units from within since they were in such a spread out formation kill that demon Bodyguard is falling. But there's still about a hundred men left in the center, so we're gonna have to roll in the cannon. 
and blow another part of the wall. Now she is surrounded, or he is surrounded, or it is surrounded, or Pen is surrounded, or ah, uh, I, for I forgot to ask pronouns. Always ask pronouns. I should have checked her Tumblr post beforehand, or its Tumblr post. See what kind of pronouns she wants me to use. He it wants me to use. Damn it, Lord John, you're so... Oh, did we kill it? No, it's still alive. There we go. It is dead. The Raven God is proud of the victory we have won here today. And at the same time, some of its followers are being smashed against the wall. Now comes the long, boring part of just cutting down the rest of them. Not really an important part to uh, show of how the rest of the battle goes down. So I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll uh, cut this part, and then uh, we'll come back with victory. And there we have it. Victory. Through the souls of your brothers and sisters, I take my plings placed place among the the pleasure of blah blah blah. The pleasure of blah blah blah. It's a great pleasure, I must say. The merciless Chivalrous in rule. What? They didn't actually have much built here. I'm not surprised though. The AI cheats with most of its units. Right, we have an army coming there. I need to check on the other settlements see what happens here then we can strike at the next settlement um, the thing is this army is not really strong enough to uh, uh, they're not even done there but I'm planning to uh, have them these guys sort of starved out and then we'll see what happens here let's go ahead and in turn high elf come to pick up maybe more troops for some reason I'm Watching. I'm not sure why I get these small dots of light here and there. Maybe it's corruption. As in, like, some sort of... Someone... Some demon has managed to uh, sway a human to go bargain for something. To change something in his life. And in exchange we get a hold of him and we get to see his tiny bits and pieces of the Empire. Keep of secrets. The repair is complete. Wait, what did he get? Was it this guy? He's got a lot of command. He's got dread. He's got loyalty. And he's got uh, has occasional need for prayers for his sin. Well, he sh you know, that's what I always say. You have to pray for change. Let's see. He can march pretty far. You can see about building. So I want to see what that, that army is. Oh, no, I can't move back. But we risk it. We build a tower and then we go and hide in the north. Them back into town. So we got two full stacks. 
moving in. What happened then? Oh yeah, they, they were crushed. But have they been taken out? They didn't say anything about um, corn being taken out. So I guess they've actually moved in down there to uh, uh, Kistler. See map information. The demand military. Their demands is. Their offer. They will give me. I wanted your map information, you stupid bastard. I was not interested in military access or map information. How about I want map information? What would you want in return? Hey, military access? Generous. Then we'll make that offer. Bloody hell. Their demand military access, and in return, they will give me 300 gold. Ah, oh, Step off, you bastards. Right. Let's see. Yes. No, th this is still. Let's go ahead and go in and then check what's going on. Um. Death for the Death Lord. Ooh, wolf farm. Let's build that. That probably will bring in some coin. Although overall I don't have that much. We'll see effective use of this army. And then we have to start wielding this army. It's pretty strong. But is it strong enough to take on two armies of Slanish? and still be able to hold on to the Citadel of Decay. If I would lose that, or lose at that front, they've got quite a way of open ground to attack. Let's see what... They move away, they move to... Uh, ah. Separate them. Oh! Nice. They're unable to hold on to even that place that's so close to their um, home. I think it's because of the fact that uh, I didn't even know they had a crusade. Or uh, maybe I forgot. Let's see, can I move out my army? Yes, I can, actually. We'll have to leave something in here. We can actually, we can recruit some just to hold it. And then we'll march to... Uh, Birger... Todberg. Todberg. We'll hold right there. Hold it right there, criminal scum! You've committed the... Uh, Vile acts against the... Or he moves around and just caps it back behind me. I think we'll hold off on this until we can see what goes down over there. Right. Aha! Who is this? It's the faction leader. It might be the last uh, troop. Unless they actually control territory here. Yeah, they do control Prague. We'll follow the road and find Prague. Wherever that is. Probably next to the river crossing, I would imagine. I should send an army to face off with him just to cut him down on the way back. Stop that army. And let's see if this gambled gamble worked. And uh, Richie, they probably can't attack it in one turn anyway, so 
even if they manage to go and siege it, they'll, uh, that's another stack. How many bloody stacks do these guys, they have at least four stacks right now. At least four stacks. But they, they sure have money problems. Grimgor and some trademarked music. Great stuff. I make 4,000 a turn. Let's see. Yes, he's closing in. Ha! Oh, wait. He actually took it? Damn it. The bastard took it. Well, actually, that's good because then I can take it. And then it's mine. And I'll have a free route of uh, access through there. I think we'll strike at this army. Next. But I think what we can go is bypass these by taking this. Or something. I'm not sure. Maybe I should uh, activate the navy. And we can go around taking their settlements first up let's have some more of these but now let's go ahead and take on that army it's an even match lots of generals chosen warrior of Slanish will they fall pretty easy to my horrors in a field battle I will be able to wield a lot more of my force so I don't think this is actually pretty accurate, not that accurate I think I can win this quite easily I embrace death without regret as I embrace life without fear Gargos Bloodsplitter Champion of Corn Alright Borsa Right, so I made a little bit of a cut there because the enemy didn't want to face me in battle. They still don't. They're sort of moving around constantly. Can you actually shoot them for real this time? And they've been trying to avoid, but I think I've marched far enough. We've already... I'm not sure how, how much I've spent just marching around trying to chase them down but I think or I hope that uh, they will actually stand and face us now there we go now you're actually firing the enemy has already we've lost in small skirmish I have lost 5% they've lost 8% You're firing, but can't see anything go flying. This is going to be a drawn out battle if the enemy doesn't actually go come to engage me. I like their setup though, that they've split their entire army down the middle. Put more marauders here. These guys to be used in the flank. Cannon should be set up right there. Let's see if we can. Ah, oh, they're moving again. Ah, oh, they're gonna pass. Hopefully, yeah, they're gonna pass through here. Hopefully, we'll be able to shoot them. Where are my chaos dwarfs? See if we can get you guys up there as well to shoot. The idiot is gonna move his most of his force through here, back and forth, and I'm gonna be able to shoot my crazy thingamajiggies on him. 
burn them. How about you actually shoot something once? Ah, oh, here comes the dwarves. Why are you not there? We go. At this rate, the battle will take forever. If they do not, if they're not gonna get engage me. Once I get my cannon up and ready, I think we'll, s I will see it. We'll see a change in the enemy tactic. Bye bye skirmisher unit. <sighs> Slash. Now they must want to engage us. Splash goes your cavalry as well. The of and then your other unit of cavalry. Now the enemy is losing troops. Now they've lost 20%. It's so incredibly stupid. Why on earth would they not seek to engage our men? At this point, they're losing hundreds of men. Silly AI. At first, I thought it was one of their. Sometimes the AI is rather clever in in the way that it's set up on the hill, and then when I sort of have to move up, they attack me in the midst of moving up which usually uh, catches me in a bad position so the enemy has lost 35% of their army which we like we like very much. I think maybe it's the angle that they uh, sort of want to fire through the hill. Now they're actually firing a bit. How close do I dare to go? Ah, the silly AI. They've lost almost half their army at this point. Burning away at, at a lot of their weaker units. It was said at the battle that it was 50 50. At this point, they've lost 50%, I've lost 5. The thing though is, they still got their. Um, they still got their. Um, heavy cavalry which is the problem and they've got their chaos trolls are they just gonna let me burn everything it looks like it
Right, I think it's time we ended this. See them feel. I think this one's gonna need it down there. There we go. Oh, right in the charge. Well, it suits him. That idiot. He deserved to die. Being as stupid as he was. Slanish really knows how to pick his generals, doesn't he? Probably best if we hold fire at this point. Oh! Quite a few uh, of our troops took a hit there. When the uh, the trolls charged in. Take a look here. Oh, we completely rounded this part, the cavalry part up here. Let's get these guys down here then. See if we can get my general engaged here. Or actually, let's go for these guys. He was born for this war. Then we get a lance charge off on them. Trolls are completely surrounded, but it's the general we want. Oh, they're desperately pushing their way further into the trap and getting completely surrounded. Another general falls. The trolls seemingly are going s still going strong though. Everyone fight the trolls. 
We're here! Victory! Finally we took down the trolls. Quite clear victory as well. An easy victory. But we still have a lot of enemy stacks running around. No, I have no intention of letting the, these guys go. Probably best to move back to uh, replenish if we can. But looking at the time, this will be the end. So we're we're breaking up Slanish pretty good. We took the capital, this town, although it wasn't our doing, but it rebelled. And next time we might see a band going against these two stacks taking them down because then this will leave these two settlements open and uh, Slanesh is uh, standing on its last leg let's see if we can find Prague damn it ah it's uh, somewhere there then next to that place right so we'll have to siege this and everything's going well yes Hopefully you enjoy this, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.